Welcome back to another video folks. After finishing our improvised little campaign for the Stalingrad battles I thought it would be a good opportunity to have a look at Soviet armour in what I'm calling early mid-war you know prior to Kursk and it, it's conscript armies and I'll be looking at these tanks on the basis of them being conscript. Have a look at each type. Think about what options you might take if you are playing a tank of A or have them supporting an infantry company. Now here are four of the types of tank that are available to you. There's one that I've not got any models off, unfortunately, and I would probably use them if I did, and that's the Valentines. A, because I like the Valentine, um, I think it's a nice tank, and B, because it's quite effective. If you think of it as a light tank in the way that the Soviets thought of it as a light tank, then it's really effective. I mean, you can get, let me see, you can get for just under the cost of five T-34s, so you can get ten Valentines. Now they've only got anti-tank 7, so they're not going to be knocking out a lot of tanks, but if they're swarming all over Panzer 3s or Panzer 4s or Marders, you know, all of them coming in at Armour 2 and 3 and whatever on the front and side, then you're going to be doing a lot of damage and giving them a hell of a lot to think about. You're going to be potentially putting a nice solid wall of steel in for assaults. And numbers are critical for conscripts. As I said, we're looking at conscript armies here. You need numbers to survive and to be a Soviet player you have to play in, in that frame of mind as well. You're not going to be doing any fancy manoeuvres with these guys. You're not going to be doing any clever assaults. It's all going to be um, what you might say is like with the KVs for instance, that's like bringing a bulldozer to a knife fight and that's the approach you've got to take with the Soviets. So let's start with the KVs. Now we have only used them once in our games and um, the reason being we tend to keep away from heavy armour but you could use the lighter version. It's front armour 7 which means you can kill it with the larger calibre anti-tank guns with ease. also means that in terms of game balance you may find them getting destroyed, getting targeted and destroyed pretty damn quick. But uh, otherwise, the the heavier versions are really quite hard to kill, and you really need to bring 88s to be sure of being able to deal with them. But you don't get many. The only company you can use them in is a mixed tankery, and the maximum size platoon is four, so that is a decent balance in the game. You just got to watch the game it doesn't end up focusing entirely around them or the things that can kill them. But they can be a really, really, really powerful unit. And in the T-60s next to them you can get a ridiculous number, let me see what is it now, it's 10 T-60s for an absolute fraction of the point of 3 T-34s. Once again they can be a wall of steel just rolling around the battlefield. So a decent option. It's only, um, I mean it really is, it's not even 10% of a 100 point list. And you get 10 tanks. They don't shoot very good on the run, um, because well, they do shoot okay on the run, but they've got no HE, so they're not going to be so good against infantry weapons and uh, anti tank guns and so on. But it's a very good and effective swarm to have. Now, shooting on the run that's one of the main differences we can see between our two main options here. We've got the Lees, Lend Lees. Lees and the T-34s. So these guys are overworked on the main gun. These guys are not overworked on the main gun. But the T-34s have got better armour. So the way I tend to play these guys is if I'm supporting infantry I tend to take the Lees because they're going to be arriving from reserves typically which means there's every chance they've got the opportunity to hit the flank of an attacking German force. And that penalty of one 
for overworked. On the main gun of the T-34s, means are coming in with their moving rate of fire and hitting the Germans just on a 5. So it can be a little underwhelming, whereas these guys could move in with a moving rate of fire, be hitting with their main guns on a 4 and the secondaries, anti-tank 7, on a 5. So they're, they're really quite good in Flames of War as a counter-attacking force. But for a bit of extra staying power, you're better with T-34s. Now, if I had 10 more of these, or however many I might need, because I probably wouldn't have platoons of 10, but if I had more of these, I would probably play um, a Lee company quite, quite happily. But at the moment, I'm playing T-34s for my, my typical tank of Unless I'm doing a mixed tank of I'm going to be using these guys as my main tank of The, oh, I mean, good anti-tank will just chew them to bits, but they've always got a chance of saving against typical German armour that they might be up against. It's more of the more specialised anti-tank weapons that were designed to deal with these guys that, that they're going to struggle against. So I've just got to be careful with that. But once again, T-60s or if using Valentines can help in that respect because they can just swarm up ahead of your um, T-34s. Um, swarm up ahead and soak up that initial enemy attack so that your T-34s can get in. If they can get into a position where they can stop, maybe in cover, so they're not quite so hard, uh, so easy rather to hit because they're only hitting a two up. Remember all these conscript guys, they're all reckless. But if they get any cover, and they're stationary and intact, they can dish out a lot and anti tank 9 is going to be effective against Panzer 3s and Panzer 4s uh, it's been certainly short range um, in this early mid-war period so there's not an absolute mountain of options for the Soviets but there's some definite differences from the heavy armour through to the light armour through to the two choices of medium armour. Think about what kind of company you want to play. A tank of made up of these guys with some light tanks and support, some T-60s. Tank of made up of these guys with some uh, Stuarts and support. Or a mixed tank of with these guys. It's a lot of really good choices. A lot of different kind of games. And they'll all play differently in missions. And then think about supporting infantry. My favourite, as I said, is Lee, Lee's because of the counter-attacking uh, capabilities. But you may always stick with your T-34s because of the, their better armour. But that's, you know, that's my particular choice and that's why. So, there you go guys, that's early mid-war Soviet options uh, for armour. We will be going on to the Kursk battles next, so we can see some late mid-war Soviet options because there's quite a few like um, self-propelled guns getting introduced um, in that period so we can have a look at them after we have played them in a few games so thanks again for watching folks I hope you found it interesting please share your comments views and experiences in the comments below and I'll see you again on the next one